where former Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe has just announced that he is officially running for office again in 2021. Thanks for joining us here at noon. I'm Rob Desir in for Cheryl Miller. CBS 6's Gabrielle Harmon joins us at Miles J. Jones Elementary, where McAuliffe made that amount announcement less than two hours ago. Gabby. Well, this morning, Terry McAuliffe officially announced that he is running for governor again and that thinking big and bold is the new Virginia way. The former governor announced he is focusing on education. He announced his plan would be a $2 million a year investment where he would work to increase teacher pay, ensure every student in the state is online, expand preschool education to three and four year olds and address inequities within our schools. A plan he says will help in growing the economy. McAuliffe was joined by his campaign co-chairs, Senator Lucas, Delegate Herring, and Richmond Mayor Stoney, all who agreed that the former governor has a track record of meeting the needs of people, especially those in the black and brown communities. Here in Virginia, the law bans governors from running consecutive terms, and back in August, paperwork was filed for him to run, but no decision had been made at that time. We asked him why he chose now, and he says he had one thing to do before making the decision. And said we need you back in the state to take us to the next level. Absolutely. So that was a decision I made based upon so many communities of color around the Commonwealth of Virginia who've called me over the course of the last six, seven, eight months. But I didn't focus on it till we were done with getting rid of Donald Trump. That was my number one priority. <laughs> In response to the anticipated announcement, a few candidates released statements overnight. In a statement to CNN, Senator McClellan said, quote, at this time, a tremendous change and challenge. Virginia must look to the future for leadership. She continued with today's challenges require new approaches. I welcome Terry to the race, but I look forward to discussing my 15 years of experience delivering progressive change and my vision for the future with Virginians in the months to come, end quote. Uh, Delegate Carol Foy also released a statement saying, Career politicians like Terry McAuliffe are interested in maintaining the status quo, but Virginians are calling for change. She continued with, while I respect Terry McAuliffe's service, he doesn't understand the problems Virginians face, a former political party boss and multimillionaire. Terry McAuliffe is simply out of touch with everyday Virginians. And on Facebook, Senator Chase wrote, quote, welcome to the race. Where have you been? She continues with, if all Virginians are allowed to participate in the nominating process, I can guarantee you that they will elect a governor who fights for the people, end quote. McAuliffe joins the following candidates in the race for governor. They include State Senator Jennifer McClellan, State Delegate Jennifer Carroll Foy, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax, former House Speaker Kirk Cox, State Senator Amanda Chase, who just recently announced that she will be running as an independent. This race is already starting off uh, very interesting. We'll be sure to keep you updated with the developments on air and online right here on CBS 6. Working for you, Gabrielle Harmon, CBS 6 News.